Let's design our building in the most easiest way and most efficient way. Javad is here in this video we are going to learn how to use Floor Planner which allows and which enable us to create something like this as you can see uh, on the screen uh, very easily and in a really short time uh, just with a web-based software. To use Floor Planner, you need to go to floorplanner.com website. I will put the link in the uh, description. And after going to the website, you need to sign up uh, in the website for free. And you can access most of the feature that you need for free. And then you, are, you need to go to the dashboard. And then you need to click on create project. You can name uh, your project whatever you want and can uh, enter your information uh, too and then click on a start project. In here, we have three way or we can say we have two way to work. We can import an image or we can uh, use empty uh, template, but you can uh, import your image after uh, afterward too. So we are, we are going to use empty plan. It doesn't make any difference. And then in here, we have a really intuitive and easy to use uh, user interface. So don't worry about it. And we have uh, 2D and 3D view in here. And in here, we have different tabs that we can create walls, windows, place furnitures, and all of the elements that we have in a building. Okay, let's create uh, our first element, which is going to be a wall. For example, click in here and let's create a wall for something like maybe three meter and then let's uh, come down and in here let's create a something like this and even you can create some interior walls click on the raw wall let's go to the sitting and you can uh, change the thickness for example let's put it on 10 and let's create a interior wall interior wall in here too something like this and as soon as you create your uh, zones it will create floors too and then you can click on each floor and each room you can change the uh, name of the room for example let's put it on house and let's put it on living and let's put this one on house again and bathroom to change the color of it and even you can assign uh, materials to them very easily from here too for example i want this floor to be a wood and i want to put it something like this color and just drag the material and drop it on the uh, room that you want to have that uh, flooring and then you can click on the floor again and you can go to the material part and can change the setting of the floor to for example i can make it bigger or make it smaller let me put it 70 you can see the change in here and let's put uh, some tile in here for our uh, bathroom for example i want to use uh, this one let me bring it in here and this scale is a little bit uh, big so let's select it and let's uh, make it smaller something like maybe 30 percent of it and that's great and then uh, now we can place uh, for the walls you have two sides and for each side of the wall you can specify the material in here too and let's put some uh, let's place some doors to place doors just click on place doors and you have a rich uh, library i love the uh, variety of uh, objects in this library and you can choose anyone anything you want and just drag it and place wherever you want you can place it for example in here and then you can select your wall you can select your door uh, uh, and scale it very easily and even you can go to in, uh, go to settings and can change the dimensions more precisely and to move it before selecting it just drag it uh, wherever you want it will move the object and you can change the height of the uh, door from here and this is really easy and you can, even you can change the door color and flame, frame color too very easily and just let's place some windows too click on place windows and let's select this window and let's place it for example in here and for the windows you have uh, the same setting for width height and even for the uh, seal height for for the rays uh, from floor in here when you go to uh, you go in 3d you can see the 3d very easily 
to uh, in 3D, but you can change anything in 3D. You just need to see it in 3D. To place some furniture, it is really easy. Just go to the furniture part and in here, select for example, living room furniture. Let's place some sofas. For example, this sofa, just drag it. It is really big. So let's, create, uh, let's make our uh, place bigger or you can uh, make this one smaller. It depends on you. So, but I want to make my uh, place uh, uh, bigger. To make your place bigger, just uh, drag your walls and make them bigger very easily in here. You can do it very easily. Let me bring, uh, drag this one a little bit upper and let's bring our sofa in here. Let's place our doors in here. <laughs> you can see it is really easy in comparison with some other softwares, but it is for uh, schematic design and first phase of uh, your project. And even you can mirror your doors with these options in here very easily and it is very intuitive to work i said easily to my sorry and let's place some door for our uh, bathroom too let's make our bathroom a little bit bigger and let's place some doors in here you can scale uh, your doors very easily with these points too and even you can go to the sitting again and you can specify, for example, 70 centimeter. That's great, guys. And let's go to uh, let's go to furniture and let's put some uh, more furniture in here. For example, let's place some uh, tables in here. And even you can uh, filter them by color. For example, I want white uh, one. So let's place this one in here. And you can even scale it very easily with this option. You can change the place of placement of your uh, furniture very easily, and very it is very intuitive. And even you can place some, for example, uh, wall-based elements. Let's search for frame to find some frames in here, and you can place your frames on the wall. Very intuitive in here. Let's go to 3D, and you can change the height of the frame in 3D too. So it is much easier to change them in 3D, but you can change the position of them. You need to change the position in 2D and just explore the library. It is really rich and you can find, uh, it is a rich uh, library and you can find many things there. And if you want to uh, create your outdoor parts, it is really easy. Just uh, click on draw surface and let's create a surface in here and press escape and select the surface and in the material part let's uh, assign the assign a grass to it just select the grass and you can place your outdoor furniture uh, in here too so that's not a big problem after creating uh, your whole project you can create some exports from it you can create an image uh, you can create uh, different things but in a basic version you just you just can exported as image in 2d or 3d let's create an export from our plan to do it click on export in here let's choose png and landscape and the ratio i want that is uh, 16 by 9 and i want the scale bar 2 and even you can export your 3d too but i don't want the 3d right now click on export because i am using a basic version i need to wait for 10 minutes but after that I will get my image too and the price isn't that uh, expensive so that you can buy more uh, pro versions too uh, from them that was it tell me in the comments if you want more tutorials on floor planner and make sure to subscribe us and introduce uh, us to your friends it will help us a lot to create more uh, tutorials like this i will see you on the next session